Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to clean the bottom of a pot or pan. This will be a super easy tutorial, but also a full tutorial. So let's get right into the video. As you can see, I have the bottom of a pan right here. And it's kind of hard to tell because of the coloration of the pan itself, of the underside of the pan itself, but it's quite dirty. You can see right here, you can see the pattern over here and it sort of fades over here because there's a lot of burnt stuff that is just caked onto this pan. I'm gonna show you a super easy method that is fairly natural. It doesn't really use anything that uh, you wouldn't regularly use to clean stuff, okay? That's why I like it. There's no real uh, real things that are, are, are chemically involved or anything like that. This is a very natural solution. It's my favorite way of cleaning things. It takes a little bit more elbow grease than usual, but it's totally worth it. And I purposely let this pan get super dirty so that I can use it for this demonstration. So all that you need is a little bit of baking soda. As you can see right here, I have some baking soda. And then just a toothbrush um, that is like a toothbrush that you use for cleaning or you can use some sort of like sponge that has a scouring pad like a rough side on the underside of it. I like to use a cleaning toothbrush so this is a toothbrush that I always use just for cleaning things around the house okay. So like I said um, you can use anything that will sort of rough up the surface and I like to use a cleaning toothbrush but definitely you can use anything like a, some sort of rough uh, rough sponge or rough cloth. You're going to start off by just wetting the surface so you just want to get it nice and wet so that the baking soda, I'm just going to lower it down so that the baking soda will have a little bit um, to actually adhere to. Sorry about that. This is like a gooseneck. I think it's called a gooseneck faucet. So thing water drips out after. Um, so you want to just put a little bit of baking soda on there. You don't need too much, just a bit of baking soda. Now the purpose of the baking soda is to act sort of as an abrasive. Okay. When it acts as an abrasive, it's going to help you scrub off everything that's there. So I'm going to get my cleaning toothbrush. And like I said, you can use uh, some sort of uh, sponge if you want to, as long as it has a rough surface. Take your, uh, your, your cleaning device, whatever it is, and you want to use the baking soda and just scrub it around. So I'll just focus on one small area because it will take me quite a while to clean the entire bottom of this pan, but I'll focus on this area right here. So you can already see the burn marks are coming off. Check this out. Let's get some more baking soda. Just like that. If you take a look right there, you can already see this was this, this was completely covered before. That is proof right there. Look at the coloration of that. That I'm taking off the burn marks. So we're gonna keep scrubbing this area right here, just like that. And you can see right here, let's get a little bit more baking soda. It is making a massive, massive difference. Check it out. So check this over here. I'm gonna just wash it in a moment. Let's just finish this area right here. Just like that. Keep moving the baking soda around. And I will show you, check this out. Look at, look at what I scrubbed off. If I just pull some of the baking soda off there, look at the coloration of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rinse this off right now. I'm gonna turn on the water. Um, I'm gonna rinse the cleaning toothbrush as well. Like I said, this is a toothbrush that I only use for cleaning things around the house. Um, but a toothbrush, an old toothbrush that you no longer use, is one of the most useful things for cleaning things because it does a great job. And I mean, regularly when you're done with a toothbrush, you're probably gonna throw it out or dispose of it. But by using it for cleaning, you're really maximizing the use of that product, which causes less waste overall. So as, as you can see right here, let's turn off the water. I'll show you the difference that it made. If you take a look right here, I wipe this off, you can see this is where I scrubbed. So look at the old part with all of this caked on burnt oil and uh, food and who knows what I cooked in this pan. Um, and then here, right here is where I cleaned. And you can even hear, very rough, super smooth. Rough, smooth, okay? So you can see just the difference in the coloration. You can, massive, massive difference. And the greatest thing about this is that it doesn't use anything that is like, you know, like I've seen lots of tutorials where they use like chemicals and all sorts of products that you wouldn't regularly use to clean things, especially things that that are used in the kitchen, like a pan. So I like to use baking soda because it's like, a, it's something you probably already use for cleaning things anyways, or, or you probably have it lying around your house because you probably use it for one thing or another. It's super useful and it works really, really well because of the abrasive part that it creates. Um, and like I said, you can use a cleaning toothbrush like I did over here, which I'm going to continue cleaning this so it's, it doesn't look as brown anymore. 
Um, or you can use like a scouring pad or like some sort of sponge with a rough surface on it. Anything will work as long as it can rough up the bottom of the pan ever so slightly. You're not looking for something that's going to scratch it. You're looking for something that's just going to rough it up along with the baking soda, move the baking soda around properly. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.